Hi, this is Keith from PharmacyTechStudy.com. In this video is about a question that was asked on the math forum. And also I posted it on Facebook so other people could practice with it also. And so let's go ahead and talk about this question. It says a patient needs an IV infusion of 0.9% in ACL. You have water for injection and 4.5% weight volume stock solution of NACL. Okay, so the first thing that comes to mind is that um, this is going to be an allegation question. So let's draw out an allegation tic-tac-toe grid. Okay, and remember we needed 0.9 NACL. We have 4.5% to work with, and also we have water, which is zero. Let, let's read the rest of the question first. There are no displacement volume effects. How much of the 4.5% weight volume solution needs to be added to a one liter WFI bag to produce the desired concentration? So a one liter WFI bag is just a one liter bag of sterile water, which is still 0%. And so this kind of switches up the nature of the question because now it's a dilution question. We, we have a set amount of water. so. You could actually do this with an allegation or with basic algebra. So let's go ahead and do it as an allegation first. Since there's some decimals involved, I'll show you some tricks on how to get around the decimals. So if we figure out our difference this way, what we get is 0 0.9. And figuring out our difference this way, we get 3.6. Okay, so what that means is uh, parts. 0.9 parts of 4.5% and 3.6 parts of 0, which is the water. However, since this is a ratio, which is just like a fraction, so to speak, as far as what you can do with it, you can move this decimal over one place as long as you do it on the top and the bottom. So now what we get is 9 and 36, which is actually a pretty nice ratio because you can further uh, squeeze that down to one fourth, which is we'll call it a four to one ratio. Okay, and so what that means is that our four in the ratio is our water, and our one is the 4.5 percent solution. So we know in a four to one ratio, if our four is one liter, then our one is going to be a quarter of that liter since it's a 1 to 4 ratio. So our 1 is going to be 250 milliliters. So that's the answer to the question. Now another way you could do it is just using basic algebra, which if you're not comfortable with this whole ratio business and allegation into ratio, it might be a better way for you to go if you like to do basic algebra. So let's go ahead and, and I'll show you how to do it that way. So it says how much 4.5% solution are you going to add to 1,000 milliliters of water? So let's write down we have 1,000 milliliters of water, which is 0.00%. And we're going to add an unknown amount of 4.5% solution. And we need it to equal, um, we'll say 1,000, because we know we're going to have at least 1,000 milliliters plus X. Since I have two variables, I'm putting that in parentheses, and we need it to be a 0.9% solution. So that's going to be what our equation formula looks like for this problem. So let's go ahead and do the math. So 1,000 times 0 is 0, so we're not going to write anything down below. x times 4.5 is 4.5x. Carry over the equal sign. So we're going to distribute this 0.9% through this other um, set of brackets. So 0.9 times 1,000 is 900. 0.9 times x is 0.9x. Okay, so now we're to this point. We're going to keep further. We're going to further factor out this equation to figure it out. So we need to get all the x's on one side of the equation. So we're going to subtract 0.9x from this side. And because we're doing that, we have to also do it from this side. So when we do that, what we get is 3.6x equals 900. Okay. 
And so to isolate this x, we need to divide both sides by 3.6. Okay, and when we do that, what we get is x equals 250. And looking back up here, our unknown x represented milliliters of solution on this side of the equation and on this side. So x equals 250 milliliters, and our unknown was the amount of 4.5% solution that we we're going to add. So again, that's our answer. And so that's two ways that you could solve this problem. There's probably more, but that's all you need to know at this point uh, to study for the national exam.